I am Sadia Sharmin, I will take your classes of accounting and economics which code is HAM2103. Uh, my subject is accounting and economics, today I will give a lecture on economics. Uh, first go to the definition, I will let you know why you read, uh, read economics as a engineering students. Because as engineering students you are part of a society, so without uh, part of a society knowing economics is, is very important. Economics is interrelated us, um, economics is related to our uh, daily life, our social life, our, um, uh, our national wide life, everywhere economics is a compulsory subject for everyone. As an engineer when you go for a planning for a project or uh, you are going to plan a uh, plan a, for an electronic device all these things you know for economics knowledge is very important for you because that time you can understand why where your device will be implemented, what is the impact of your device and project on the society. That is why economics is neat is a very important subject of every students. Now we will go for the definition, what is the economics? As a general definition what is the economics? Economics is the social science concerned with the production, distributions and consumption of goods and services. It studies how individuals business, government and nations make choice about how to allocate resources. If you go to the definition what we will see, you see that economics is a concern with the definition of, with the concern with the production, distribution and consumption of goods and services. Which means what you need to produce, how we will distribute it and how, how it is consumed between the societies. It studies how individual, business, government, national make choice about how to allocate resources. Why? We need to allocate resources. If you look at the resources as an individual perspective, as a national perspective, as a business perspective, all where there is a scare of resources. In this world, why there is a scare of resources? Because everyone has unlimited ones. In case of individual, if you are um, earning a 1 lakh, uh, if you have a 1 lakh taka now, 1 lakh taka, what you will use for this 1 lakh taka? You will go for the study, you can invest on the study, you can buy a motorcycle or you can uh, do a business. You have only 1 lakh taka, but you have different type of choices. What is the different type of choices? The 3 choices of you. You now you need to decide what you will choose. Economics will help you to understand why you choose it and how gonna be it make an economic impact on your life. There is usually four definition of economics. General definition of economics, Adam Smith, Adam Smith wealth definition, Marshall welfare definition and Robbins scarcity definition. General definition which I already read, Adam Smith definition who will gonna be studies because Adam Smith is the father of the economics. It is known as that he write a book and a wealth of nation first understand how wealth is used in a practical life of the society in a nation as a government as an individual. All if you know about the Marshall, Marshall is a social scientist, he always believed that the Society is the most important thing, everyone in the society is need to be equally treated, everyone has right to live a decent life, everyone the wealth should be distributed equally to all uh, level of the society. And the Robbins scarcity of definition, it is the related to our today's practical life definition I say that because it is, uh, because we are in a materialistic society where Robbins scarcity of definition is most popular and most acceptable. The subject economics first studied in the ancient Greeks, economics as a study of wealth received great support from the father of economics, Adam Smith in the late 18th centuries. Adam Smith wealth definition, the formal definition of economics can be traced back on the day of the Adam Smith 1723 to 90s, the great Scottish economics following the materialistic tradition. That time all of the society is believe in the materialistic society, all of the building of the wealth, making wealth is the main perspective of human life, human bonds to make wealthed, ac accumulated wealthed 
Adam Smith uh, based on this idea Adam Smith definition is build up. Adam Smith and his follower regretted economics as a science of wealth which is study the process of production consumption as a science of wealth which study the process of production consumption and accumulation of wealth. Here the society as a perspective of society individual all are the main concern is the accumulation of wealth and, and production of wealth and consumption of wealth. there is a nothing else related to it. Later on this matter then later on this idea is changes gradually. There is a huge criticize of the Adam Smith definition because it is only based on the wealth. As a human being life is not only surrounded by the wealth, as a human being there is a lots of other aspect of life. Through the criticism we will find that they will study what is the uh, other aspect of life is a hum as a human being. The definition is too narrow as it does not consider the major problem face society or individual. The society's main, main concern is not wealth. The society has other problems as an individual as well. For uh, relating to this as today's practical, uh, practical example I need to give you that our society as is I take the example of Bangladesh, Bangladesh is growing so fast our um, GDP growth rate is too much high it is the we will going to the middle income, uh, middle income country in a few days later on but what we, what we are facing that. We are, we are making people happy or we are uh, getting people, uh, getting people peace through the uh, money or all these things. All over the world it is believed that without development of the society, the economic growth will not be sustained. What is mean? That if you want to sustain your economic growth, social development is needed. What is the social development? If you go for the sustainable development goal, that is 20 sustainable development goal which will ensure the social development of a country. Because if we can't ensure the social development of a country, the economic growth will not sustain. What is the social development? Social development in perspective of education, women empowerment, uh, social securities, um, society value, uh, society acceptability, uh, the uh, the discrimination among the uh, among the level or uh, discrimination among the level of the different part of the society is ensure uh, uh, through the social sustainable development growth we will ensure. Later we will, I will discuss with you in a when we will uh, uh, end of these courses I will more discuss with the sustainable development goal with you just for now just I give you the some example of it ok. So what is this? Uh, what is the criticism that major problem faced as a society or individual that wealth is not the main or narrow concept of the wealth. Without, uh, without wealth we cannot survive I agreed and all over the world is agreed but if only focused on wealth you will, will not be happy or satisfied in your life. In Adam Smith definition he is too narrow with the wealth, wealth maximizations. Smith and, uh, Smithian definition lead to the emphasize the material aspect of human lives and generation of wealth on the other hand is it ignored the non-material aspect of human life. What I said the education, the peace, the security all these things are ignored in his definition. The central focus of economics should be on scarcity and choice. What is the main problem of our life? It is the scarcity and choice. We have a huge number of choices and we have a scarcity of resources. That point is uh, ignored in Adam Smith definition. Since the scarcity is the fundamental economic problem of any society, choice is unavoidable. Adam Smith ignored this simple but essential aspect of any economic systems. Go to the Marshall's welfare definition. Obviously, Marshall is based on the welfare of the society. He first talk about the society discrimination and all these aspects. He think that as a human being, all the human being has a right to live a decent life and equal life. Alfred Marshall is the book Principle of Economics published in the 1890 placed emphasis on human activities or human welfare rather than on wealth. Marshall defined economics as a study of man as the live and move thing in the ordinary business of life. He argued that economics on the other side is the study of wealth on the other side is study of Man, man is the main focus of the economy, should be, should be, should be and wealth cannot be the main because wealth and everything in the world is for the man or human being. 
without human being man uh, without human being there is no wealth will be uh, workable economics is a social science the following important features economics is a social science it studies the action of human beings economics study on the ordinary business of life since it takes into account money earning money spending activities of man money in earning is the also it is of the man money spending also the activities of which also generate the wealth of the society economists study only the material part of human welfare which is measurable in term of measurable rod of money economics is not concerned with the nature and causes of wealth of nation welfare of mankind rather than acquisition of wealth is the subject and primary importance that's why now it is the product which will harm the human being as it is the money making business society in society is rejected this type of product like drugs and other things marshall criticism of marshall no one is the beyond the criticism why this happen because in the phases gone the previous the people ideas perception will change day by day which if, which is uh, believe in 100 years back the belief the perception of human being is changed day by day so the criticism is occur the marshall notion of material welfare comes in form of sharp criticism in the hand of lions robbins 1898 and 1984 in 1932 robbins argued that economic should be encompasses of economic welfare also economic welfare also robin argued that marshall could not establish the link what is the economic activities of human being and human welfare he is failed to uh, fail the uh, fail to uh, understand the bridge between these two things marshall defines aim at measuring human welfare is in term of money but welfare is not enable to measure since welfare is a abstract you cannot touch it you cannot um, see it but you only you can feel it so it is not a abstract thing subjective concept truly speaking money can be never measured in welfare how could you measure this untouchable non materialistic things with money marshall welfare defined gives economic is a normative character not any descriptive character finally marshall definition ignored the fundamental problem of scarcity of economics it is also ignored in his in his definition robbins scarcity of definition the most accepted definition of economics was given by lord robbins in 1932 it is the latest one and which is most accepted in our society still now in his book an essay of nature and significant of economic science according to robbins neither wealth nor human being welfare should be considered as the subject matter of the economics the what is the subject matter of the economics subject matter of the economics should be should be scarcity economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between the end and scarce means which have alternative uses because i have a limited number of resources which is a different alternative uses through this limited resources i cannot fulfill all the alternatives of my life for this definition one can build the following pre, uh, preposition human wants are unlimited wants are multiply luxury become necessity what is these things which is luxury nowadays tomorrow it is necessary for example of ac it is necessary for you for the time being uh, before 10 or 20 years before nobody will uh, think of that ac in the classroom is a compulsory thing but you are uh, but ac is now is a compulsory things for in uh, compulsory and available things in the all the classrooms in our society what is thing in the 20 years back when ac is a luxury now it is become a necessity for our life the means or the resource to satisfy one is scarce is relation to the demand since the prehistoric day one notice constant effort to satisfy human wants through the scarce resources which is an alternative resource alternative uses which is i have told you several time every resources has a different different uses so the choice is the most difficult for human being life or the society or a nation life it is also not come uh, because it is uh, it is also not in this definition is also has some have some criticism what is this in the in his bit of praise economics to the status of a positive science robbins deliberately downplayed the importance of economics as a social science he ignored the social science part being social science economics must study social relation his definition placed too much emphasis on individual choice a scarcity problem is ultimately analysis and it is the social problem 
rather than individual it is also nation problem also. If you look after the our country perspective, we have a, some limited resources which can, can make you the Padda bridge or metro rail or the express highway. So our government need to choose between them and first give the priority what he will go for it and it is the scarcity is not only problem for the individual, it is problem for the society, it is also problem for the nation also. In his definition, he ignored it. According to Robbins, the root of all economic problem is the scarcity of resources without having economic ta human touch, setting aside the question of human welfare, Robbins committed to grab error. He just grab it, who ignored the social part of the economics. Robbins meant economic is a new, um, neutral between ends, but economics cannot remain neutral between ends. What is the ends? There is a no ends. There must be prescribed policies, make values, judgment as to what is good for the society, what is bad. So, economics should be pronounced both positive and normative statement. Economics at the end, or uh, end at the end of Robbins turn to be more price theory of microeconomics theory, but other important aspect economics like national income, employment, banking system, taxation system, etc. has been ignored.